Hey guys, it's Kaim now. I'm gonna sound weird on the mic, I'm not sure why. Anyhow, um I did have a previously recorded video on my new tank, but that's old because it's only been about um, four or five hours. Because I'm sad and I've played this game for four or five hours. And it has completely changed. Um now, instead of being mostly green on the edges with, you know, blue for the important parts, it is now the majority of it is now blue, level three armor. Now the reason it's blue and not like yellow armor and I've skipped one layer of armor out is because I can. I'm at tier 7 so I get about 3 to 5,000 research points per match which gives me the chance to buy 2 to 3 blocks. Uh, 2 to 4 um, blue blocks each time. So currently I've only got the outside of the tank you know, reinforced. Now the inside is still all nice and squidgy green. The difference between green is blue armor has 40 hit points and green has 25. So, um, if a plasma shell was to hit green armor it, at level, f if a level five plasma shell hit green armor, it would destroy everything within its blast radius. Doesn't matter how you know how far the blast radius is, it will destroy every green block in the blast radius. However, if there's a blue block there, it will not destroy a blue block in its blast. Radius. If it hits a blue block, so it may destroy the first five, six that it hits, but the rest of it behind that layer will be fine. So, outside are blue blocks. The I still haven't done the wheel arches to blue yet, but you know they're secondary to the main bulk of it. Yep, and so I'm actually on the verge. If you can see the bottom right, uh, well, bottom of the screen, you see the XP tier bar, not the XP bar, the tier bar, and I'm just under tier eight. If I strap three of my jammers on, I'll become tier eight. And there's no one playing tier eight at the moment. Not a single soul on tier eight. There's three people who've got tier 8s currently, but they're not actually playing already. And I don't really want to spend 20 minutes looking for a match. So I've got my sign on the back just to let everyone know what it is. My, I think it's Armored Tank Destroyer and R just stands for the Rattlesnake. I'm not quite sure, it just looks sounds called ATDR Rattlesnake. These are all just spare, I just strapped it to the top for no particular reason. Um, it's got cool looking windows, okay the wheels, they have 10. Level 5 wheels, not level 5 S, just level 5, because they do fine. Don't really want to spend an extra 6 grand per wheel, considering I only gain about 20 miles an hour, if I'm lucky, and I don't really need that much speed, because I'll be sitting still and balling quite a lot. So, 10 of them, that's a total brake horsepower of about 9,400. No, it is a total brake horsepower of 9,400. Um, the front four are dual drive, so they turn as well as power. The back six are just motors. I was going to change it and get take a, when I next get enough money, well it's about 24 grand I need in total, buy two more dual drives and stick those at the back so I can get more, you know, very sharp turning corners and if the front of my tank is destroyed, which it quite often, like, quite often is, um, I'll be able to turn. So the undercarriage is all just green armor, just all squidgy green armor. The reason for this is I don't have enough money to, or well, research points to actually get enough blue armor for the entire bottom and it will take quite a while because as you can see there's a lot of it. Um, yep, so side the wheel arches have been built to withstand, you know, shots, side shots, it's quite, you know, you can still hit the wheel but any shots that go around the side won't just start doing straight into whole damage, it will hit off these things and they make it, you know, look more smooth and refined. Um, yeah, the wheels. The wheels have been put like this because the the greater the increase in gap is the greater turning effect that you get when you turn these two. Um, that's why that there's like a strange gap in between and a gap between these two. So the gap between these two is just solely for if that one gets destroyed, you've got this little layer of armor before you can destroy the next one. Because I'm, I believe the wheels hit boxes are kind of like here inwards. That's why I believe the hit boxes are. Um, guns. Every single gun can shoot forwards, straight forwards. Uh, it doesn't look like it can, but I'm not going to be facehugging an enemy about this close, to be fairly honest. I tend to try and get some range when I shoot at them. Um, six guns can fire at any one side. As you can see, I'm in the firing line of... Oh, well, actually, no, not there. If I was to start shooting someone side on, I can hit them with six guns. Yeah, five if I'm... Yeah, five if that one can't hit. They get, all can shoot straight up anywhere in the sky. If you get into a range, you'll be shot. Um... That's it really, it's not super complex. These are double reinforced because if I'm getting shot from the front, which is where I plan to get shot from, 
well, if I get shot. Um, yeah, well, they'll have to go through one layer to actually break the gun off. And, yeah, it still gets broken off quite a lot because, you know, everyone sees these priority targets, but I've got five shooting back at them, though, so... Guns aren't the main priority. Seven guns is the max rate of fire you can get, so... Every time you add a laser, at least, you gain rate of fire because they synchronize fire. Not synchronized fire, it's the sequ se sequential fire. So it all like bang, 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 bang. So it turns into a machine gun the more you have. Seven is the max limit you can have before the rate of fire increase stops. However, you can still stick more than seven. You can stick as many as you want as long as you have enough CPU. Now I've stuck with seven because if I stick anything else on, I go to tier eight. And as I just said, there's no point for me to get into tier eight. But if I even stick a level two jammer on, I go to tier eight. Just because of the amount of armor and the size of this thing. So, if we get onto the back, back has got my rate level 3 radar, because it's very helpful. Um, the jammers, people don't understand, they'll, they'll, they'll buy one level 5 jammer and it's so useless. You might as well just buy a load of level 2, because if we go into the tech, it's a nice tactics for people. Don't use a level 5, use a level 2. Level 2 jammer. It does have 0 0.5 jamming power, and is quite small. That's the size of that's the size of a level two. The level five jammer, which has a jamming strength of one point yeah, one point one, costs not only eighteen thousand, but is the size of hmm, let me see about that is the 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 radius that you can stick it in. It's not worth it. It's, it's, you can buy 12 level 2 jammers for the price of one level 5 jammer and you can fit four of those in the same space so you get two jamming power in the same space you can get 1.1 at 1 12th the price so yeah level 5 jamming same goes the receivers here I've got level 2 one in here um, I don't actually have any jammers on this don't have enough CPU or thing for it to be effective um, they have a range of, I think this has a range of 60 meters, and it'll, you know, you can pick up uh, enemies from other people's radar, so if there's like a big line of people with receivers, everyone, you know, you get you get to see into the battlefield. Very helpful, I quite like them. Uh, above tier 4, it, tier 2 becomes stupidly big, um, the fitting radius for a tier 5 receiver is pretty much the size of one of these level 5 guns, this ring around it. It's also 5 blocks tall, so it's massive. Um, yeah, that's 5x5x5 five by five by five is the size of those. <laughs> Let's go to the side. These outcroppings, as you can see, are literally just acts as spaced armor. The spaced armor means if it hits that, it'll do less damage to the blocks behind it. Only applies to explosive, you know, blast radius rounds. Plasma, everything I armor is for plasma, because lasers, you know, just pew, 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 you know, take ages to drill through. Plasma, however, has a really uncanny chance of insta-killing you. Not as much anymore. I haven't been in school quite a while since I've you know, fully blue armored everything up on the top. Yeah, um, guns act as space armor. Wheels act as space armor. That's why I've got all my wheels and guns exposed. Um, for example, if a plasma bolt lands at this gun. It will destroy the. No, it won't. <laughs> Depends. What it will do is you'll destroy the. It'll destroy like this this line of armor, leaving the ones behind it mostly intact. However, if the gun wasn't there and a plasma bolt did direct hit, because I've only got green armor behind the blue, it will destroy the first layer of blue armor and do quite a bit more damage, three times the amount of damage it would do if it hit the tip of this gun. Um, yeah, guns, and you also get to shoot back with the gun though, so hopefully you don't stay stationary. This thing is quite large, however, so it's quite easy to be hit. Wheels act as space now. Wheels have tons of hit, hit points. Don't underestimate, they don't feel the need to stick a layer of armor outside your wheels. All it does is get you stuck. Um, let me show you. That doesn't tell you the hit points of a wheel. What is this? Some dodgy stuff going on here? Anyway, I know they have at least 200 hit points because they are tough as nails. They take ages to kill. If you even can, most probably the cause of it being destroyed is they've... Well, I know you can shoot the wheels, but they've probably also destroyed the block that it's attached to. It's more likely than destroying the wheel itself. Yep, um, that is pretty much it now. I've got a load of videos coming up, and I'm going to extract all the good kills and whatnot from them all. And that is...
those videos are an earlier version of this because I haven't recorded them since because I've been rendering. So these are the earlier videos of this same tank destroyer. Uh, you'll see a lot more green armor on it. You'll see me die quite a lot easier. And sometime tonight or tomorrow, depending on what time, I should get this rendered on the 3rd of May. Um, tonight and tomorrow you shall see this one fully in action. Okay, so here's the first video, and this is the only narr narration, 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 I'm going to say narration, that's it. Um, that's going to be in the entire video so far, well, remaining anyhow. <coughs> yes, these, throughout the videos, you'll see my first model of this tank, which is the one that you can see on screen now, and it'll eventually evolve into one of the later models, nowhere near as you know, recent as the starting video, which explains my newest release of the tank. That's my current newest release. Um, but from these plays, playbacks, you'll see my tank gradually start to build up more blue armor on top. You'll start to see each match you'll have another layer, or another line, or another four or five blue armor box added. I've cut and fast forward some parts of it because, you know, I don't really want everyone to see my embarrassing fails when, I, for example, I backflip off something, get kill a guy, and then get stuck for the rest of the match. That's kind of boring. Pretty sure you don't want to watch me on my back for about five minutes waiting for someone to push me over. I've also got somewhere I push somebody else over, my mate. So currently I'm platooned up with, through most of these videos, with Azure. I can't remember his name, Azure Wraith. Um, there's a big J and his thing D da blood or something. Uh, yeah, don't ask. I don't know who any of those people are. All I know is they're decent. Big J's got a very nice setup. He's an orange, yellowish tank. Azure is the one with a load of plasma on. And da blood is a tier three. I think he convinced me to bring along. I'm not kind of sure why I let him join the platoon, but you know who cares. So in all these videos you'll see some kills, you'll see me get killed in a few of them. In some of them I actually test out my strength by purposely ignoring other targets. No, that's not me just being retarded. I actually do purposely try and test how tough this is from the side and stuff by letting a few weaklings get next to me. I do expect to kill them, sometimes I fail miserably when I shoot my guns off because they get smart. But, you know, what can you do? Anyhow, um, I might start actually narrating, take my word back, and my may narrate throughout some of the other parts, and there's some important parts. So, anyhow, enjoy the next, uh, how much is that? Um, about 24 minutes. Bye.
20% skill, 80% fear, be 100% clear, cause Ryu was ill, who would've thought he'd be the one that set the west in flames, and I heard him wreck it with the crystal method, name of the game, came back, dropped mega death, took him to church, I like bleach, man, Ryu had the stupidest verse, this dude is the truth, now everybody giving them guest spots, his stocks through the roof, I heard him fucking with that stock, this is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, And he's spitting fire in might Got him out the dryer, he's hot Found him in Fort Minor with top But a fucking nihilist porcupine He's a prick, he's a cop The type women wanna be with And rappers hope he gets shot Eight years in the making Patiently waiting to blow Now the record with your notice Taking over the globe He's got a partner in crime This shit is equally dope You won't believe the kind of shit That comes out of this kid's throat top He's not your everyday on the block He knows how to work with wood he's got Making his way to the top He don't think it's a comment on his name People keep asking him was it Giving that birth that doesn't stand for an act But him no, he's living proof Let him rock in the booth He'll get you buzzing quicker than a shot of vodka with juice Juice, him and his crew are known around as one of the best Dedicated to what they do and give 100% Forget Mike, nobody really knows how or why He works so hard, it seems like he's never got time Because he writes every note and he writes every line and I've seen him at work when that light goes on in his mind It's like a design that's written in his head every time Before he even touches a key or speaks in a rhyme And those motherfuckers he runs with the kids that he signed Ridiculous, without even trying, how do they do it? This is 10% luck, 20% skill 15% concentrated power of will 5% pleasure, 50% There you have it, the last 20 seconds of the video is about to finish, and I hope you enjoyed replays. Now if you want to contact me again, my name, username is in the description of this video. Please like and put a comment in, because I'm bored. Adios.